Today we're going to be exploring Drupal 8, specifically creation of databases in custom modules. Module layout for Drupal 8 hasn't changed too much from earlier versions of Drupal. You will need an example.info.yml file, which contains information about the module, an example.install file, which we will be looking in today for creating of the database for the module, an example.links.menu.yml file. What this does is allows you to create menu items and to complement that you'll need the example.routing file which then points your links to a PHP file which contains the functions for these links. If you want your module to have a custom database, you will need to modify the example.install file. The example.install file consists of two functions. The first function creates the database and is, in this example, labeled as dbtng underscore example underscore schema. The second is dbtng underscore example underscore install and what this method does is allows you to put data into your database as soon as the module is installed. This could be useful for testing or if you want there to be some default data whenever you install your module. The syntax within the schema method is fairly straightforward. You create an array of your database and then you give it some fields which are also within an array. In this example you can see that there's a description that says what the database does, a primary key which is of type serial and will automatically increment. They have labeled it PID in this case. Then there is a UID field which is going to be populated with the person who's logged into Drupal at the time they create the database entry. And then you have a name field, which would be the name of the person that you want to put into the database. The install method is fairly straightforward too. All it does is populate the database you created with your schema method so that you can have some default data in there. The example here shows an entry that creates a person of the name John with surname Doe, who is zero years old, and then it uses the database insert functions to insert this data into the database you created. Your database will be loaded automatically when you install your module in Drupal. Also be careful that if you ever uninstall the module, it will delete any data that you had entered into that database. So make sure to back up before you do.